What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Kelly peeling from the big <laughs> deuce three in the same suit. And what a flop we have here. Nine, four, five, two hearts. Kelly opening his straight flush draw. Aaron with two overs and the flush draw. Having opened from plus one. And he decides to check back on this board. Oh my word. Have you seen a sicker hand? Straight flush versus nut flush. We are playing Texas Hold'em. These guys need to get themselves over to a cash game. Bad beats galore. Sixty K pep from Kelly into Aaron who now holds the nuts and well he's bet sixty she's bet sixteen to sixty five on a card that should favour him. He does make the call. Deuce on at the end. Let's see how much acting goes on in this pot. Both cannot wait to get their chips in. Kelly's going to size pretty big here, I think. She's targeting ASEX a lot. There we go, 175, just a shade under the pot. Now Aaron will do his best acting job before jamming. And when he gets snapped, he's going to assume he's won. There's no way he's thinking she has a straight flush. is a sickening hand. He does move it all in. She gets it in. That was fun. Of course. This turn, this turn. Is like 208 now remain as Kelly makes it 425 from under the gun with pocket fives. King-Jack off on the button. I definitely spot you can 3-bet against Kelly given how active she is. And it looks like that's what he's doing, picking out two of those black chips. They're 500k apiece. Goes 1.2 million. Don't mind the sizing. He's only playing 30 bigs. Doesn't have to go quite as big as if they were deeper. First time she's been three bit, I believe, all day. Is she just going to give it some credit? No, oh, she's going to take a flop. Three million chips as we see this flop. King, deuce, deuce. Diego flops best here. I'm 
So Floppy's going to want to attack a lot as the three better pre. But this time he decides to check it back. And that is good night for him. Kelly Check. turns fives full, checks it once again. Is Diego now going to bet? One million. One million is the bet. And I'd prefer to see Kelly lead this turn, to be honest. Diego having three bet and check back this flop. You'd expect him to attack it a lot, so it does tend to suggest he has a hand. She calls the one minute. He may get away from this if she checks the river. He may just try and take it to showdown. Especially on a club. Check. Queen of clubs it is. Check. And he does check back. And yet again, she's not really got full value in one of these spots. Five full of deuces. And Diego lives to fight. I think no, I'd prefer a bet from the flop. Kelly with nines. Action falls around to her in the small blind. She's going to raise it up this time. And Gagan deep with King Jack of Hearts. Expect him just to flat here. It's a very nice hand to play in position. See King Jack nine. What a flop for this blind on blind encounter. Kelly with bottom set. Gagan deep with top two pair. Fireworks are sure to occur. Bet Kelly bets 375. Gagan with the option now. Whether just flat call here and let her continue to bluff in his eyes. Or does he raise now? Two spades on board. A lot of scary cards could kill some of his action here. He does make the call. Both players funking for a brick on the turn. Seven of spades may slow things down here. As I still expect Kelly to bet her set. Gagan deep. We'll just flat call now again with top two. Right. Kelly's gone small, 600,000. Interesting sizing. Okay, again, of course, calls with that top two pair. Red six on the end. Kelly checks. Hoping to elicit a bet from Gagendi. Top two fairs. Going to feel very confident he has the best hand. There's no way I think he expects Kelly to check a better hand than this. 2.9 million chips in the pot. I like to see him go with a big sizing here. Maybe she did bet twice. Wow, he's checked back. Incredible that he has not lost more chips in this pot. 
Uh, I think that's exactly what Kelly's thinking. How have I not won more here? No. At least she did win the pot. Jack-10 offsuit. Generous is sevens. This is a nice use of her stack near the money bubble. Uh, Chandrasi, I think, will just call cool here. See a flop with a hand as good as sevens. Flop heads up. Kelly with the betting lead. Heads up. And she now takes the lead in the hand, flopping top pair and open a straight draw on a board that really does favour Chan's cutoff open and three bet peel. I don't think he expects her to have Jack 10 too often in this spot. She does just keep betting. This is certainly a candidate to check call, but she decides to lead with it. 1.6 million. Chan, an underpair and a gut shot draw. Facing a half pot bet. Chamasi does make the call with his pair and gut shot straight draw. Again, Kelly so aggressive in these spots. Hasn't once checked. Mayfield's up against pretty much her entire range here. Nine on the turn. That's a bad card for Kelly. Chamasi could definitely have a nine. Ten nine of clubs, ten nine of hearts be the favourites. Surely now she has to check. One to surprise. She is firing once more. 2.35 million. And surely Chamrissy has to give up now. Jig is up. She bets a second time. She did fire three streets earlier. Zero equity bluff, but that was a slightly different situation. Rangers weren't quite as tight as this. That was a single raise pot. This is a three bet pot. Yeah, well, Kelly's bet does win her this pot. 19.1 million now her stack. I sold anything for that trip? No, you did. No. But I know I know it was only 20 or something. Kitty roll baffles me because like one day I feel like I don't know, the next Pulling. day he's playing a like, cane heads up cane heads up. Kelly like, calls with ace three off from the so small. Elkie with Queen Nine suited right? in the big and that's Kelly flopping aces up, but Rodney with a set of fives. 
Fireworks ahead. Does check round to Rodney. Um, easy bet for him here. Well, it should be a raise from Kelly here. I was crushing on the it's a skill game, right? Yeah. A race to 100. So that, oh, she does make it 175. Elkie and Carl will fold. Rodney with a clear call here against Kelly. Let her keep barreling off. Doesn't have that many strong hands here. It's hard to raise again. You see, I know all these. Money stories from him. He took Check it out. Yeah, clubs. So both players one, like one that card. Four eighty-two is the pot. Rodney with nine hundred. Yeah, Kelly going big here. Three thirty. Ace is up, just trying her best to stack Rodney here and price out those draws. Deciding where to the jam now. Oh, let Kelly have one more stab uh, on the river. I'm actually on a hot gamble right now. So I think I'd like I like the jam here myself. It would be less than half pot jam. That's what he's going to do. And this will be a call from Kelly. Five eighty-seven more. She wasn't expecting a jam on the turn there. She feels a little grim here. A lot of weaker hands that are going to jam, but she's getting such a great price now. Uh, Alex making a valid point here. This is taking a long time. Personally, I would have called by called o'clock by now. the clock perfectly within his right it's been a long time this hand I don't think there's anything more Kelly can think about the stage just needs to be put to the decision She does make the call, and as I said, of foe she was worried about. That is what she's going to see. Needs to spike an ace on the river. Full double up for a Rodney. Kelly down to 440. 